Hi, I'm Denshi, and I have great news! YouTube DL, at least the GitHub repository, is back! You can now download the source code from the official GitHub repository and build it and do everything, but they have updated the README file with some information. So skipping to a line that says DMCA to know a couple of things here. Can you add support for this anime video site or site which shows current movies for free? So basically, YouTube DL has now sort of been forced. I don't really know if it's anybody who has told them to do this, maybe some kind of advisor, somebody who gave legal advice or whoever, but they've been told to not exactly give much attention to using their product for piracy. And that's for pretty obvious reasons, because the reason they got that takedown from before, the DMCA takedown, was because people were using it for piracy, and them being, I guess, not really paying a lot of attention, put an example of piracy in their documentation. So they would put an example of downloading a, a copyright, a, you know, copyrighted song, in their actual documentation, so that, you know, got them in trouble, among other things. But YouTube DL is a perfectly legal tool. I mean, I can use it to download copyright-free content off YouTube, and there's nothing that really should stop me from doing that. And there's other implications and stupid, like, moral quarrels you can get into. But basically, all that's really been changed is this little section over here. So I'll read this out. As a matter of policy, as well as legality, YouTube DL does not include support for services that specialize in infringing copyright. As a rule of thumb, if you cannot easily find a video that the service is quite obviously allowed to distribute, i.e. that is uploaded by the creator, the creator's distributor, or is published under a free license, the service is probably unfit for inclusion into YouTube DL. A note on the service that they don't host the infringing content, but just link to those who do, is evidence that the service should not be included in YouTube DL. The same goes for any DMCA note, when the whole front page of the service is filled with videos that are not allowed to distribute. A fair use note is equally unconvincing if the service shows copyright protected videos in full without authorization. Support requests for services that do purchase the right to distribute their content are perfectly fine though. If in doubt, you can simply include a source that mentions the legitimate purchase of content. So what that basically means is you can't request for piracy sites to be added to YouTube DL's supported list. I don't know if it's had if it's got on a blacklist because normally it supports a wide variety of websites. I'm not really 100% sure on how it's really made and structured as a program, but I'd like to guess they probably haven't really added a blacklist as much as they've just excluded excluded piracy sites and tried to just sort of not let people download things from it to some extent. But all this basically means is you can't suggest piracy sites to YouTube DL, which I don't really think affects most people who are using it. And it's basically up to how it was before. So I really, really am happy. I'm quite glad that this came all back full circle and we're now back to normal with YouTube DL. We can actually check their very nice website if we really want. Uh, it's been slightly updated. Look at it. It's got center now. That's pretty nice um but yeah youtube dl is back in business uh well business as much as giving away free software that is open source can be a business but i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoyed this news i've been denshi goodbye